Hey guys and welcome back. I got 10 more questions for the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB just for you. So go ahead and stick around all the way to the end to see these 10 solutions. Jan types at an average of 12 pages per hour. How long will it take Jan to do 100 pages? Well, in this case, I'm just going to do 100 divided by 12. That's actually going to give me 8 with a remainder of 4 out of 12 left over. Well, 8 is the hours for all of these, so let's look at this 4 over 12. That does reduce to 1 over 3 by dividing both the top and bottom by 4. What is one-third of an hour? Well, there's 60 minutes in an hour, so 60 divided by 3 is going to give me 20. So that's going to be 20 minutes, which is going to be option C. 22 is a little bit of a back and forth game here. We got two large sodas contain the same amount as three medium sodas. Two medium sodas contain the same amount as three small sodas. How many small sodas contain the same amount as eight large? First off, let's get this eight and find out how many groups of two that would be. Eight divided by two is four. Then I'm going to say, well, that's the same as three medium sodas for each one of those groups. So four times three is going to give me 12. Now I have 12 medium sodas. Well, 12, how many groups of two is that? Six. Twelve divided by two, that's going to give me six. Well, now six is going to be how many groups of this? Well, that would be the same as three each, so six times three is going to give me 18 for a final answer of B. So in number 23, it says we're going to take this number right here, which I rewrote down here, and replace each of the fives with the number seven. So I'm going to rewrite this number with sevens instead of the fives. And then it wants to know how much it increased by. In other words, what's the difference between the two? So I'm going to subtract them to find that. That's going to give me a zero here, a zero here. Seven minus five is two. We got a zero here, seven minus five is two, and a zero here. So that should be 20,200, which is option D. For 24, we're finding a total price here. Two and a half pounds of lumber at $4 each. Well, two times the four is going to give me eight. And one fourth of a pound would just be one dollar because it'd be one fourth of this. So that's going to be plus another dollar giving me nine. Now it says we add a 7% tax to this. That means I'm multiplying by 0 0.07. Well, seven times nine is 63 with the two decimal places makes that 0 0.63. So add the 0 0.63 back to the nine to give me a total of nine points. 0.63, which is option A. 25 is a bit of a tricky question here. It's asking us to see the ratio of 3 and a fourth to 5 and a fourth is equivalent to the ratio of which of these guys down here. Now, if you could use a calculator, you could just divide this and divide each of these and see which one, but there's no calculator in this case. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to turn them into improper fractions and see what we can cancel out. 3 times 4 is going to give me 12, plus 1 is 13 out of 4. In this case, we have 5 times 4, which is 20, plus 1 is 21 over 4. In this case, we're going to multiply both of them by four, because that's not going to change our answer there, to give us the ratio of 13 to 21, which is answer D. You feed your cat three-eighths of a pound of cat food every day. How long will 72 pounds of this cat food last you? So what we're essentially doing here is we're dividing the 72 by that three-eighths. Now, how do you divide a fraction? You can one way multiply by the reciprocal, which means I'm going to do 72 times the reciprocal means you flip it upside down. So that would be 8 over 3. Now, in order to do this, the first thing I'm going to do is multiply across the top, because technically this is 72 over 1, and then we'll divide by that 3 after. So 72 times 8 is going to end up giving me 576. Then I still need to divide that by 3. Well, 576 divided by 3 is going to end up giving me 192, which means our final answer here is D. I did the multiplication of 72 times 8 in my head and then divided it by 3 in my head. So how did I end up doing that without a calculator so quickly? In this case, I did 8 times 2, which gives me 16. Then I did 8 times the 7, which gives me 56, but I have to add that 1 from the 16, giving me 576. In terms of the division, I just take it step by step. 3 divides 5 one time with 2 left over. 3 divides 27 9 times, and 3 divides the 6 2 times, meaning that 576 divided by 3 is 192.
Don't fall for the trick in 27. So it says that after spending five twelfths of her salary, Eva has four twenty left. Now most people would dive right in and say that in order to find this answer, you would do four twenty divided by that five over twelve. But in this case, five over twelve is what she spent, meaning that Eva actually had seven over twelve left over. So that means this is seven twelfths of the original thing. Typically, we'd multiply by that and get our answer. If you do that trick, you will end up with D one thousand eight, which is is wrong. So we're going to go ahead and do it the correct way of doing 420 divided by that 7 over 12. When you divide a fraction, you can just multiply by the reciprocal, which means you flip it upside down to give us this guy right here. Uh, because I don't have a calculator on this test, we're going to go ahead and divide first since it's easy mental math. 420 divided by 7 is going to end up giving me 60. I still need to multiply that by the 12, and that's going to give me a final answer of 720, which is answer C. Lots of different ways you can do number 28 here. It says you're decreasing a stock in value by 20%. By what must the stock increase to get back to the former value? So if I'm decreasing by 20%, it means I have 80% of the original value left over. In other words, I have X times 0 0.80, which is giving me this new value, which we'll call Y. In this case, I'm going to rewrite this guy as a fraction to help me out. So it would switch to being 4 over 5 is going to be equal to my y. Well, we all know that in order to undo a function, move it to the other side, you do the opposite. Opposite of multiplying is dividing. In order to divide a fraction, you can just flip it upside down, which means that means x should be equal to 5 over 4 times the y. Well, 5 over 4 is the same as 125%, meaning it has to increase by 25%. Answer C. So 29 says that Joan can shovel a certain driveway in 50 minutes, Mary can shovel it in 20. How long would it take them to do it together? So here's how I'm going to look at this. If it takes 50 minutes, that means that Joan's going to do 1 50th of this driveway every minute, whereas Mary's going to do 1 20th of this driveway every minute. Well, 1 over 50 would be the same thing as essentially doing 2% of the driveway per minute, whereas 1 over 20 would be looking at 5% per minute. So together, they would be doing 7% of that whole driveway per minute. Well, they want to get 100% of the driveway done, so I'm just going to divide 100 by 7 to tell me that that should take about 14 minutes. I think it'd be 14.2, so forth. So that means 14 is going to be our final answer, C. So looking at 30, it says that June makes 70 less than Kelly. So if Kelly's here, June is 70 less than that. It also says that Kelly is 50 more than Aline. So that means that Aline is 50 less than Kelly. It says that Aline makes $280. Well, Aline was 50 less than Kelly and June was 70. So that means she's 20 more less than Aline was. So I just got to go ahead and say, if this is 280, subtract 20. That's the difference between those two to get a final answer of B, 260. Don't stop there. That was only 10 questions of this portion of this test. Remember, I have videos on the mathematical knowledge portion, on the arithmetic reasoning, and even on the word knowledge portion of this test. So go ahead and check out my channel and see what other videos you can find to help you with your next attempt at the ASVAB.